Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Having just done uh, Leviathan Part 2 DLC, and uh, let's start with a chat with Edie straight away. It's a very small trip this one, and a quick galaxy scan at the end. I have formulated a psych profile for Dr. Anne Bryson. She is not used to death, but she may be quite capable under stress. So a Reaper goes rogue and kills one of its own. And that's what we're looking at here, right? Bryson really was onto something big. Amazing. A lot of smart people in this galaxy. I'm a lucky guy to work with so many of them. I can handle the Reapers that run around, or the ones that crawl, or the ones that shuffle menacingly toward you, but it's the flying ones that give me the creeps. Greetings, Commander. What is it with you and rescuing scientists from dig sites that have been overrun by hostile forces? If you decide to help her take down the Shadow Broker, I'm going to be jealous and somewhat concerned. If Leviathan is a defector, a Reaper that broke away from the others, then it is also a traitor. And traitors are never to be trusted, even among the enemy. If they can betray their own kind, Imagine what they can do to you. Do you ever feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. I'm glad Anne Bryson got out safely. I just hope we find Leviathan before the Reapers do. Good to see you. A very short bit with Tolly, and it seems our engineers are not up here. I don't think I've ever been in there to hear the hum. Nothing to report, Commander. Let's see if we can. Uh, find them. <clears throat> it's a shame we can't zoom there. Oh, hello, Commander. We were just uh, double checking the thermal ducts. I'm sure you were. Carry on. Commander? Shepard. <laughs> Why not? I'm sorry, Din. I'm so embarrassed. I forgot they say something afterwards. Whoops. If another harvester keeps me from dropping you off in the target LC, so help me. That's the bond. Don't let those oversized roaches push you around. Mr. Vega, taking on a sky full of worm necks and a troop transport is like sending you against the Earth invasion armed with brass knuckles. What, you don't think I could do it? Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. I don't know the scientific measurement of a shitload, but that seemed like a shitload of harvesters. 300 years it took to take back the quarry and homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. And I'm ready to do some planet scanning. Are you? Wee! We're gonna do the fancy tricks again. All right, let's get on with this. Time with the rest of this system.
Done. We have a fuel depot for once that I can spend a tiny bit of money on. <laughs> Top of all, what was that missing? Fu uh, 50 fuel, roughly? And yes, we are here to do uh, the fuel reactors mission next time. Uh, do 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 do. Where is it? Oh, right there. We got that at some point during the uh, Renault campaign. I think it was after completing. Uh, the Dreadnought, wasn't it? Or was it after the Perseus Veil? I can't remember which one that was now, but uh, never mind. I'll see you next time for that. Uh, depend I don't know how long that's actually going to take. It shouldn't take too long, but... Uh, yeah, I believe this doesn't actually involve Cerberus for once. I think it's just the Reapers. I'll see you next time for that anyway. Goodbye for now.